I'd, uh, I'd give you some sort of greeting, but I'm not really sure what time zone we're in or what's going on. Technically, it's actually afternoon here in London. But is it though? Uh, I, it's morning at home. Yeah, it's so confusing. Uh, behind me is Wembley Arena. Stadium, uh, stadium. Yeah. I always get too confused. Stadium, it's stadium's pretty big. Bigger. Stadium's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Welcome to the struggle bus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll be joined today uh, by our pilot, Spencer West. Uh, I'll be your crew uh, captain. Uh, yeah. So let's get on with the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> so Jake's taking me, taking me where he went on his run this morning. Um, we're gonna have a picnic. We've got our food. <laughs> um, but the way he kind of described it, he was like, there was a river and there was a park. Uh, can you show the people what we're walking in right now? Okay, so it's a bit of a this cement is not factory. What you described. It's a bit of a business park right now. I didn't specify what kind of park it was. Well, you Let said me just grass. say that. You said grass. <laughs> There'll be some grass eventually. We're working on it. We're getting there. So I took us for a short walk in the wrong direction. Um, yeah, you should get up probably on the sidewalk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we passed by this street and I was like, no, that's too sketchy. There's no way that's where Google wants us to go. <laughs> it is. Turns yeah. out it is. Thought you were right. And just for the record, just in case this goes terribly wrong, I ran a different route this morning. This isn't the exact route that I took. We're trying to take a shortcut. Oh, is that what we're doing? Ask me how that's going. <laughs> So far, not well. <laughs> there's this, there's this part in Beauty and the Beast where they're driving, they're going down the trail. The, the Belle's father and, and the horse Philippe, and he gets lost and he blames it on the horse and he's like, "Where have you taken us, Philippe?" That's how I feel right now. <laughs> At least the fast food here is popping. <laughs> you have to get off your bike. That's a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it to the trail that I was talking about. Okay. So this still feels sketchy, but like it is okay, but <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get killed this morning when I ran here. Yeah, you didn't get Liam Neeson taken. So yeah. like I think we're okay Okay, oh look at my nose. It's pink <laughs> um, We've this we've found a spot to fly the old d -rone. Um and uh as we were walking, and I will say, it was a nice walk. Jake did take me on a nice little walk. Um, it's pretty peaceful, there was a little river. Um, but there's this like, I don't know, <laughs> apartment complex behind me. And it sort of looks like that episode in Black Mirror where it's the girl that wakes up in the chair and she's like tied up and she like gets out and everybody's like, as she walks outside, everybody's filming her. Everybody's got their camera and then they start chasing after her. If you've seen Black Mirror, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I'm going to tell Jake off camera what, it, what actually happens. But that's what this behind me looks like. Am I right? This walk was one of those things that sounds like a really good idea at the time. <laughs> and then you get there and you're like, Oh, that's weird. It's a little cloudier than it was before. <laughs> and then it starts raining. Yep. So we'll see you guys whenever we get to wherever we're going next. Yeah. We're not quite sure, but we're about 2K out from the hotel right now, so <gasps> hopefully it doesn't start downpouring. As Jake would say, turns out we're going to live, and we did live. Um, <laughs> we made it through the rainstorm. I made it through the rain, kept myself protected. Y'all don't even know what that is. It's an old Barry Manilow song. Moving on, um, Jake's now doing a little um, transformation, is what I might say. <laughs> and by transformation of his hair. Did we talk about this on the vlog yet? No, I just saw my Instagram. Okay, so he sent me a snap this morning of his hair. And uh, you know what, I'm just going to let him explain it. That's what's going to happen. Why? You should explain it. Fine. Can you hear him yelling at me from the bathroom? He's so bossy. So this morning he sent me a Snapchat. If I look at the screen, then I don't look at you. He sent me a Snapchat and his hair had been parted down the middle, which is how most of the boys in my high school wore their hair when I was in school. Part down the middle, you've got the two swoops on the side with your bangs. And he looked like one of the characters from Boy Meets World. So, um, he posts on his Instagram asking, should I do my hair like this, yes or no? And it was a resounding yes. You know what, I'm gonna look up the percentage right now, in fact, just so we can get a, a current tally. It was like 75 or something. 79, yes, 21, no. 
forget the guy's name. I think it was Sean. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Is that sick or yeah. what? It's so dark though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. how's that? Is That's that it? it? That's totally it. I'm so ready for oh life. My God. Okay, so now that Jake's done his hair, <laughs> we are off to give you a little tour of the of the venue. Not Wembley Stadium. Stadium, Wembley Arena. And look at this pretty fountain out front. Yeah. Going in through the VIP entrance, just felt right. We are we are now at the venue, and good? we'll give you a bit of a tour of the backstage tomorrow. But back by popular demand for her now global premiere because she lives in London now. Are you ready for it? Who is it? <gasps> Huxley! She's <Hi>. returned! <laughs> Give us an update on your life. Give us um, the big news. I live in the UK. Yep, what else do you do? And right I'm engaged. <gasps> Wait, look at the ring. Whoa. Oh, there. Whoa! And in case anyone's wondering, this is what the inside of the venue looks like. There's a lot of seats. Yeah. Like 10,000 of them. Screens, things like that. Spence, what are you guys doing down there? Sorry for you, bud. Oh, okay. So this is the tallest table in the world, and I'm tiny, so Leah had to like <laughs> slum down so we could see. But we're we're now in the lobby bar of the hotel, and I thought what we do is Leah teach us some some different words that they say here in the UK versus what we say in North America. So what are <laughs> We went through a few just before we turned the camera on, but like, tell me, tell me like a, a few. Okay, so instead of zucchini, yeah, they say courgette, which I don't. It's French. Oh. Zucchini. Okay. Yeah, I don't I know. know. I'm just adopting some French. Okay. Yeah. Just throw it in there. Fine. What else? Faff. 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 F a f f. Yep. Faff about. What is that? Just like mess around. Yeah. Okay. Faff about. Wasting time. Okay. Stop faffing. Fa oh, faffing. You can add an ing. Well, I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if it's a crack. Okay. I'm still new here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I snorted. Um, pants. Pants. Yeah. Which we think of as pants, like that you put on. Yep. And what are they? Underwear. <gasps> I know. And then wait. So then I think I know. Then then. What we would consider pants in North America are called trousers here? Yeah, they're called trousers. Okay, that makes sense to me. Yeah, it does make sense. The pants part, I'm not sure. But didn't you say that you're still not used to it, so you keep asking people about their underwear? Yeah, I keep asking about pants. I'll go into a store, I'm like, do you have any pants in this size? And they're like, ma'am, those are trousers. <laughs> they bring you underwear? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what else? Uh, jumper. Jumper. I think people know that. Stroppy. Stroppy. What it's does that mean? Yeah. What's stroppy mean? Bad tempered, like a little moody. Oh, moody. Moody little princess. Oh, so. It's a good one for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done here. <laughs> okay, give me one more jerk. Um, mate. That's a good one. Mate. Oh, yeah. That's, it's not what you're thinking. Get your minds out of the gutter. Or is it? Um, well, I don't think it is. No, I think it means not. friend. It it's like, you're my mate. You're my mate. One thing that I, we're mates, one thing that I would like to say that they do here that I, it's nice but I find jarring is instead of saying how are you, they say, um, you're right. And I always think, oh my god, do I look like I'm I know. sad or something? I'm like, what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, this is such a great little lesson. Well, that's good. Yeah. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Cheers, mates. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. As always, you're a new best friend. Call Save Your Five Minutes. Bye. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> perfect. That was perfect.